Go. Range coordinator. Clear to proceed. Launch director. You have permission to launch. Proceeding with the count. ALC, verify T0 is set for 0403 Zulu. Verified. And so we are on time and on schedule for this launch at 11.03 Eastern time there. You just got the, the confirmed account from uh, Scott Barney. That's good news. Oh, absolutely. I'll tell you, my heart's beating uh, really good. Uh, it's awesome to hear the team give a go and everything's clear. That means they've been working all their stuff and everything looks good on the vehicle. Uh, targeting an 11.03 uh, p.m. Eastern uh, time liftoff. Um, I can't tell you how excited I am to hear that uh, poll. T minus 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And liftoff of our solar orbit and international collaboration to give us new images and a better understanding of our life giving star. Control voice system response to the board. ULA's launch commentary. Now 25 seconds into flight. Chamber pressure on the SRV looks good. It's not bringing parameters on the Arctic 180 also look good. Good report so far. Atlas 5 at beginning to pitch over. 35 seconds in. Vehicle is completing the pitch over maneuver. Now 41 seconds into flight. 45 seconds into flight. Everything is looking good. Heard that the RD-180 engine was operational. RD-180 model. throttling down slightly as expected, and engine response looks good. Of the solar orbiter spacecraft. So we just heard from Patrick Moore. There good go. indication of separation. That is a huge milestone for the solar orbiter team. Daryl, as you see in the ASOC there, they are celebrating. Yeah, and they were celebrating here in the Mission uh, Director's Center as well. You can see some hugs and handshakes uh, going around. This is, uh, of course, a, a big mission. Uh, for ULA, uh, especially given the collaboration that uh, took place. Uh, you're talking about 22 different countries that were involved in uh, this uh, spacecraft, the Solar Orbiter. We're talking about uh, a decade or more uh, in 